Um, ACL, what does that mean? ACL is a very common uh, abbreviation that you hear in the paper and in, with the athletes. It's a uh, anterior cruciate ligament. It's a ligament, and again, I'll show you on the model here, a ligament that uh, attaches on the inside of the knee. It's right in the middle. There are ligaments on the sides, but this one's right in the middle. And what it does is it prevents the knee from stretching uh, or from, from coming forward. Uh, here we are. So you can see that that ligament right there, here we are. That ligament's the anterior cruciate ligament. And if you don't have that, then the knee can buckle. And if you look from the side, you see what it does. That's what the ACL prevents. So if you don't have that, your knee will buckle. Uh, a lot of what it does, too, is uh, prevents when you're twisting or pivoting uh, the knee from buckling. So that's really how you, how you can injure this is uh, somebody's running, they plant their foot, they twist, and the, the ligament gives out or it breaks and, uh, and causes swelling, soreness, pain, and we call instability, that feeling of that the, they don't trust their knee, their knee is going to give out on them. I've heard that someone might actually hear a pop when that happens. Yeah, it's pretty common. About 70% of the time, people will say they felt a pop in their knee and it swelled up afterwards. And these are the folks that are not able to continue the game th at the, on that day. Right. This, this injury, as opposed to a cartilage tear, uh, sometimes a cartilage tear pain can be moderate. But an ACL complete tear or rupture is, you know, they're pretty much done right then. They, You're out they for have the day. swelling. Yeah. They're they're seeing their knees swell up right before their eyes, and they they you know are not going to get back in the game. And so the name cruciate it comes from the fact that it makes sort of an X with the with posterior. the cross, right? The ACL and the PCL. The PCL is the posterior cruciate, and basically it's in the back. The anterior is in the front. I see. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked about um, an athlete maybe getting an injury to the ACL. Um, are there any other treatments they should try if you have a complete ACL rupture? Yeah, with a, with a complete ACL, uh, we, we want to, first of all, rehab their knee to get the motion back in their knee, get the swelling down. But if somebody is going to get back into sports, uh, to twisting, pivoting activities, skiing, soccer, volleyball, uh, tennis, then you want to be more aggressive with that because you don't want that knee to buckle and uh, you want to preserve the function they have. So, you, you know, we're pretty aggressive as far as recommending ACL reconstruction. Okay. So if you're a young person, you're an athlete, you're expecting a lot out of that knee, you really should consider planning, plan on reconstructing that yeah, ACL. Yeah, and even, even uh, it really depends on function. You know, I've, I've done a lot of people in their 40s and 50s who have had an ACL tear and, uh, you know, their knee it does not feel good and they want to get back to playing their tennis and skiing and, and those people were uh, doing ACL reconstruction. Tests. Absolutely. Is the recovery um, similar to that of a cartilage tear uh, surgery for the ACL? It is uh, more extensive. Um, there's a lot of swelling and more soreness than a typical arthroscopy. So um, there will be. It, it, it is on the order of more, you know, of months as opposed to weeks. I see. Uh, but to get back into sports is usually six to nine months is the, the standard. I see. And then those people end up doing quite well long term. Yeah. Yeah.